First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many first alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hey guys, I'm Sarath here with First Capital RI3D. Uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the intake subsystem. Um, we finally got it uh, mounted onto the robot here. Um, as you can see, it's a, uh, um, a roller bar with various types of wheels and some poly belt as well. Starting from the outside in, we've got the uh, ThriftyBot vectored intake wheels, uh, two inches. Um, we were using these to pull balls across into the center. In the middle, we've got some AndyMark uh, Omni wheels, two inch, um, with the half inch hex bore. We've got the harder ones on the outside, those are the gray ones, and the softer ones on the inside, those are the green ones. And in the very center, we've got some poly belt just to move the ball up and in and make sure there are no dead spots going into the uh, hopper system. Um, so the whole thing is powered off of one Neo 550 from uh, Rev Robotics uh, through reverse planetary to a chain driving the top roller through a belt driving the bottom roller. We found that, unfortunately, the poly belt was not grippy enough to deliver consistent power transmission from the top roller to the bottom roller without this belt. Uh, the whole thing comes into frame perimeter with one pneumatic cylinder, and we'll drop back down when we need to intake. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and first demonstrate just a ball coming in straight on and then from the sides. And from the side. So as you can see, we're still working out a couple of bugs here, but we wanted to give you guys the latest update. Um, unfortunately, the, the one bug we're working on is the uh, poly belts. They like, to, they like to ride on what we call crowned rollers. That's uh, when the center of the roller is higher up than the outside. That actually helps them track, but we're still working out the bugs here. Uh, we'll be sure to make a video on that later so you guys get all the information that we're learning here today. But this is, that's where we're at with the intake subsystem right now, and uh, we'll get back to you with hopefully a uh, whole robot overview soon uh, with a trouble shot intake. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Thanks to Rev Robotics and all of our First Capital RA3D sponsors.